What is up everyone, my name's Al from Games Group, and today we are discussing a 3DO homebrew. That's right, haven't really delved too much into the 3D homebrew world that much. Obviously we've taken a look at the 3DO port of Open Lara, obviously which works absolutely incredible. But, this is a brand new FPS that has come to the 3DO. It's just wrapped up and it's now out there to download and check out. It's called BioFury, and let me tell you, this game it's a really, really decent FPS. It's not a huge game, it's only about eight levels long if I remember correctly. But let me tell you, you've got some nice ideas, it controls well, and it is built from the ground up. So shall we take a look? Let's do it. So yes, we all know that the 3DO really was trying to be this powerhouse, this... What, what do you call it? I mean, it was trying to be the number one, right? It was trying to get rid of Genesis, it was trying to get rid of Super Nintendo, but unfortunately it just didn't do that well, really down to things like pricing. I mean, they really didn't have the titles that people wanted. You know, at the end of the day, we all know the games weren't great on them. Although, there are some now, and this is one of them. So yes, this is it. This is BioFury 4, the 3DO, by a dev called Excommunicado. Now, so I was made aware of this by, actually, funny enough, Ian Michael from the Dreamcast scene. I guess devs talk at the end of the day, right? But this is it. This is BioFury. Now, straight off the bat, you're probably going to say, well, this just looks like another Doom clone or Wolf clone. I mean, I guess to a certain degree, yes, it is, but it doesn't use any of the engines that ever came well, into use with those systems or those those games. There is no Doom engine here. There is no Wolf 3D engine here. This is built from the ground up. Now, yes, there are similarities. Like, yes, you do have the facial characters here that do change depending on your damage, which, you know, is kind of a staple within the genre by now, right? The other great thing that this game actually offers is story as you go along. It does actually tell you exactly is what's happening here. It is a biohazard event. It's, you know, it's a bit like Resident Evil. It's a bit like any of those type of games, basically. But it does give you a nice little rundown with these transcripts that you can pick up along the way. The other trait that we see in most of these games is, yes, there's food on the floor. Pick it up. It's your health. You're going to need it. Now, yes, the game does start off nice and slow, but it kind of actually throws you in also at the deep end pretty quickly. So me saying it's, you know, starting off slowly, it isn't really. This game isn't easy. This game, you will, like I said, you will need health. Now, the great thing about this, it's not a slow paced game. Like I said, it's over within an hour. It really is a quick pick up and play, but a great experience nonetheless. Like I said, there are eight levels which you will actually find really, really hard. Like I said, the difficulty is really ramped up here. You can take a couple shots, you can be dead pretty much straight away. Also, when you change to new levels, that's right, your health doesn't replenish. So, that, I mean, that's great, because a lot of the games kind of nowadays, they'll give you new health straight off the bat. Doesn't matter if you start again, you get new health. Now, that doesn't happen. I like that. But it does kind of hold your hand in a certain way, because there is no save process here, but there are passwords. Now, passwords are old school, right? That's, that's what we had back in the day. We didn't have ways to save. But now, yes, there's a nice little password system here, because, you know, at the end of the day, like I said, you might find this hard, and you might want to throw your controller through the screen, because it can be that infuriating. I mean, it really depends on your... How really good are you at FPSs? I think really this is rinse and repeat though. So if you get used to those levels, you get used to where the ammo is, and you kind of got a ration it almost, then you'll probably be fine. Another trait that I'm glad from the FPS genre has stuck here, colours key codes. And you kind of, yeah, you get a red or a blue. It really depends on what level you are. But as you can see, there's three slots there. So you literally got to get the red key for the red door, blue key for the blue door, that's really all it's about, is collect keys, make your way through this kind of maze-like area. I mean, the good thing is the scenery does actually, it's not all just one colour, which is great, because obviously some of these games can get a little bit boring, a bit tedious when they don't change, but when they do change, hey, that's great. It mixes it up, and that is what it's all about. Now, i got to say, the best weapon in this game has to be the shotgun. 
like it is in most FPSs, the shotgun really is king, and it certainly shows here because it's not barraging the enemy with pistol fire. Use the shotgun, it will lay them down quick, quicker than you'd think. Now, if we're talking enemy types, there isn't just these kind of police people or what the guards are, really know what the hell they are, and prisoners? Hey, there's canines as well, aka dogs. And let me tell you, these things can be absolutely nuts. When you first see one, you're going to be a little bit shocked. So these white panels you keep seeing everywhere, you're probably saying, well, what do they do? What does that switch do? Let's go around the corner and have a look, because I can tell you what, it opens secret pathways. That dog, as you see, literally the white door closed behind him. There's a few of those in this game. and In fact, there's quite a few in this game. I like this mechanic. I think it's a nice little mechanic. All it is is a switch to a door. Switch opens another door. I think that's great. Nice little mechanic. Works very, very well in this environment. To really sum this game up, I've got to say, I... Th I love it. I really like the originality of this. It's trying to be something slightly different with, you know, still keeping those roots of a true FPS. It's kind of a love letter to games like Wolfenstein and Doom. I mean, it feels more like Wolfenstein than Doom, uh, mainly just because it's kind of more maze-like, if that makes sense, whereas Doom is a little bit different. That, that's how I view it anyway, but I really like this, and I love to see 3DO titles like this. Not many people talk about 3DO. Why don't they? Because there's some really good projects coming to the system. Like I said, already there's Open Lara out there. We're going to hopefully see Wipeout come to the system. As well as now a game like this, a brand new homebrew for the system, Biofury. I think this really needs to give people some hope that the 3DO really is a great console. Yes, not everyone's got one, i got to be honest. And you can emulate it like I have done here. But this just shows there are some devs behind this system, and it can certainly do very well. As you can see, an absolute incredible FPS. Like I said, go and download it now. Obviously, if you've got the real hardware, you can play it that way, or you can play it via emulation as well. I use the 4DO emulator. So as always, like, comment, and subscribe. It's Al signing out.